at the time of the disaster, I was 22 years old. Yes, 22 and a half, actually. Hello. Contact with Flight 901 was lost mid-afternoon today. The aircraft had 257 people on board, including 20 crew. Today's flight was last heard from about half past two in the afternoon. At that stage, it was in the area of Mount Erebus, an active 4,000 metre volcano. Air New Zealand announced it had given the plane up as lost. The airline's Should chief they? executive, Mr. Murray Davis, feared just the worst. Just like everyone else in New Zealand, it was just absolutely just disbelief um, that I felt, and and also a creeping sense of foreboding that that in some form or another I may have been involved in in assisting, but never really thinking that I would be. But have you any possible explanation of this? No, we don't. There were heartbreaking scenes at Auckland Airport. Relatives arriving to meet passengers on the Antarctic flight were hustled away to a side room. There they received the dreadful news that the flight was long overdue and that the plane had almost certainly crashed. Now I, like the rest of New Zealand, was in, was in shock. We'd had a training day that very day at National Police Headquarters for the Disaster Victim Identification Team. And of course, there was a feeling coming through, even during that training, that when would we ever use this? But uh, little did we know that it was going to occur that very day. The worst disaster of any kind in New Zealand history. Surely they wouldn't send us to the coldest region in the world, to the Antarctic. I mean, I'd never been on snow or ice before. Well, just a few moments ago, we, uh, we received news that uh, they'd located the wreckage of the DC-10. He reported it was about uh, 2,500 feet up Mount Erebus, which is the largest mountain in the Antarctic, and uh, regrettably reported no sign of survivors. We got the news, I think about one o'clock it was confirmed that the uh, uh, wreckage had been found. We were fielding calls from people all over the world who wanted to know, you know, what's going on, is my uh, loved one involved? It was just go, go, go. And uniformed staff had been drafted in from across the street and yeah, everyone was answering phones and trying to answer questions. We didn't really have a great deal of information. Some were too shocked to react. Others Stuart Layton. The captain of the DC-10 was Jim Collins of Auckland. He had a yes, sir. 21 years flying service with Air New Zealand. I understand, sir, but... DC-10 and DC-8 pilot. This was his first flight... Thank you, sir. Antarctic. The Airline Pilots Association had praised his ability, and they had asked him to be their association's technical director. Looks like it's all on. What do they want you to do? Uh, go out there, find, identify, and retrieve the bodies. One of the women killed was one of five sisters of all being stewardesses for Air New Zealand. She was Sue Marinovic, one of the organisers of a recent trip to Disneyland for handicapped and underprivileged children. The site itself is ice covered. Only mountaineers can actually work on the site. Within 15 minutes, I then had to make some urgent phone calls to uh, to my parents. Yeah, it's me. Can't go down as low as 30 degrees below. Yeah. My father answered the phone, and before I even said a word, he says, you're going, aren't you? Hello! Hold up, girls. Kiss. I gathered some warm jerseys that I had, old jerseys, and went and said goodbye to my children. I genuinely wondered whether I would see them again. I'll be back before you know it. Hey. Off you go. We were very, very apprehensive. You had staff that were expert in their own fields in terms of search and rescue, and there were a number of mountaineers, and then an untried DVI team who had never, ever used those procedures in anger before. Yeah, well, no, we're the other ones, all the new And so therefore you're having to wonder how you're going to work together. 
no one from the teams had been down to the ice before, so we had absolutely no idea what Antarctica was going to throw at us. We just knew it would be dangerous.